Hello, I know you know about using the cropped option to get your photo to have a setting to fit a certain shape like um, the circle cropped um, the square cropped and all but you know that is just as far as that can go if you want to get your photo to fit um, shapes like this and this an organic or freeform shape and by organic or freeform shape these are shapes that are uh, of course um, not geometric that is they don't follow a certain pattern like you have the square triangle rectangle and all so how do you fit your your images like that now hold on before you say i already know how to do that yeah you may say you want to use the texture effect but um there's a actual way there's a proper way rather to go about that else you won't have your photo to you won't have your photo fitting that shape properly and that is what we are going to be covering shortly in this video so this is a pixel app so first and first that you like, like i said um don't rush and say i know how this works already no you don't because you can have a shape let's just say you want to work with um um a circle now I still want to work with a circle now and you say oh yeah 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 I just have to go to I just have to go to texture where's texture you know I have to go to texture and select an image and let's say I'm selecting this image and I just click on okay see this won't work oh let me use enabled oh this one it won't look good oh let me use K no it won't look good then okay 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 maybe maybe at least you have a certain knowledge of of how to bypass that and you say let me let me just do something like this let me do something like this let me do something like this and you say okay oh now this is this is quite okay oh this is good but this is not the best way because it will not always work not always work so in this video i want to show you how to get it done and moreover this is just this is a geometric shape it's circle so it's you can easily bypass your way with what i just showed you but we are talking about um we are talking about um free form or organic shape so and yeah i mentioned earlier that um of course you can easily do that um using um using um the cropped like something like this and you just select um this is a circle and then of course it's going to show you like this initially because the image is not a square so but you have to press this one by one at the top you check the right the right corner at the top you see one by one so when you press it it will give you like this and then you can easily you know crop what you want to what you want to do here and yeah you have this but like i said this only works for this crop look at the function here yeah, this crop it only gives you the circle and you know it only give you circle and square it only give you circle and square and this square now it only gives you these two and square and of course it can also give you it can also give you rectangle yeah it can also give you rectangle and portrait like this but like i said these as far as it can go right so you're following right so let me show you how to do something like this how to make it fit like free form images like this so um first and first let me just delete all these ones delete all this stuff okay so now the what you want to do by the way that shape this shape here was made with a bizarre too and i have a tutorial on this channel on how to make shapes like this this is two the bizarre two yeah this one i have a tutorial you can watch it i'm not going to show how i made this shape no i just want to show you how to fit an image into it using the texture too right so i'll just I, i'm going to skip that aspect so the thing you need to do first and first you have to place the the shape where you want it to be in your design so let me leave it here then the next thing to do is to either delete the rest of or you can hide them so the next thing to do is to click on transparent and then after, remember i said place it where you want it to be then what you do next is save now you're going to save it as png and then ultra by the way, PNG, because in some app, if you save as JPEG, it won't give you transparent background. So I guess that's why I still use PNG. Then save to gallery. 
the reason you have to do that you just import um, the image that way it won't work so that's why we're exporting first all right so the next step is to go to gallery and bring the picture you want to use now you can of course use a picture with background so you just um, crop what you want to the side you want to you know use then you place it that like if you want to use the image with the background of the image you can do that then you can reduce the opacity so you see it properly see what you are doing so and then place it the way you want it to appear take it back and turn off this turn off this and export this one you get but i like um removing the background but i said if you want to use the background you can do it this way and then export right but um i don't want to use the background of this one but like i said it's the same thing it's the same process rather but i don't i don't want to use the background so what i'll i'll do is that i've already removed the background and this is it i've already removed the background with photo room and there's a tutorial on how to remove background using photo room so the same method the same method is the same thing so it's not a different reason that's why i don't want to export that one so you just and this one now you can even see it properly and the reason the reason for removing the background is that so I can change the that means I, if, if I want to decide the, the color of what I want to use right if I want to decide decide the color because if you go with if you go with the actual background it means you can't change the color right so like in that very design you saw I use white just because I removed the background and do you know why because I want it to be uniform because they all have different backgrounds and having them show different backgrounds on the design it won't look nice so i had to remove their background and use a uniform background that was what i did there so if i placed it the way i want it then the next thing like i showed you earlier is to export it export it so i'm gonna export this all right so next and final step delete them this is a shit remember i said delete the one you made because you can't use that one if you if you you if you use it that way the texture effect will not work the way we want it to work this is very very important it's very very important once you upload once you are sorry i said upload once you are importing the image just press ok don't touch it from this from the canvas don't go there go to relative size this guy here are you seeing it at the right side so so um you click on relative size and then go to ensure this thing is enabled ensure it's enabled because if it's not enabled when you are moving one it will not affect the other one you see it's only width and it's not what we want so ensure it's enabled and then take the width to 100 so you see that taking the width to 100 also takes the, the height to 100 take moving the height or we also move the width because we're we enabled maintain ratio and that's what we need to do now so you press okay you realize that this was exactly where it was before you exported it right so now that we have that you can lock it and then go to texture and then click on this add image and simply select the image and you don't have to do anything much just click on ok to fit into the place you don't have to adjust anything you don't have to try to oh let me work on the scale mm -mm. it's it will get it you don't have to put men enable ratio no nah, no nah. so that's how to do it you just have to do this for all of them on whatever the shape you are creating it we fit into it now if you like this video leave a thumbs up and of course a comment and don't forget to subscribe and share this video god bless you and have a great day